It is a sin to write this. It is a sin to think words no others think, and to put them down upon a paper no others are to see. It is base and evil. It was as if we were speaking alone to no ears but our own. And we know that there is no transgression blacker than to do or think alone. We have broken the laws. The laws say that men may not write unless the Council of Vocations bids them so. May we be forgiven. But this is not the only sin upon us. We have committed a greater crime, and for this there is no name. What punishment awaits us if it be discovered, we know not. For no such crime has come in the memory of men, and there are no laws to provide for it. The laws say that none among men may be alone ever and at any time. For this is the great transgression and the root of all evil. But we have broken many laws. We stole the candles from the larder of the home of the street sweepers. We shall be sentenced to ten years in the palace of corrective detention if it be discovered. But this matters not. It matters only that the light is precious, and we should not waste it to write when we need it for that work that is our crime. Nothing matters save the work. Our secret, our evil, our precious work. Still, we must also write, for may the Council have mercy upon us. We wish to speak for once to no ears but our own. Our name is Equality 72521 as it is written on the bracelet that all men wear on their left wrist. We are 21 years old. We are six feet tall. This is a burden, for there are not many men who are six feet tall. Your body has grown beyond the bodies of your brothers. There is evil in your bones, a quality 72521. We were born with a curse. It has always driven us to thoughts which are forbidden. We know that we are evil. We strive to be like our brother men, for all men must be alike. These words are true, for they are written on the palace of the World Council. Thus it has been since the great rebirth and further back than no man can know. But we must never speak of the times before the great rebirth, else we are sentenced to three years in the palace of corrective detention. It is only the old ones who whisper about it in the evenings in the home of the useless. They whisper many strange things of the towers which rose to the sky in those unmentionable times and of lights which burned without flame. But those times were evil and those times passed away. Men saw the great truth, all men are one and there is no will save the will of all men together. All men are good and wise it is only we, Equality 72521. We alone were born with a curse. We are not like our brothers, and as we look back on our life, we see it has ever been thus, and that it has brought us to our last great transgression, our crime of crimes hidden under the ground. We remember the home of the infants where we lived till we were five years old, together with all of the other children who had been born in the same year. We were just like all our brothers then, save for one transgression. We fought with our brothers. There are few offences blacker than to fight with our brothers at any age, for any cause whatsoever. The Council of Home told us so. And of all the children that year, we were locked in the cellar most often. When we were five years old, we were sent to the home of the students, where there are ten wards for ten years of learning. Men must learn until they reach their fifteenth year, then they go to work. In the home of the students, we rose when the big bell rang in the tower, and went to our beds when the great bell rang again. Before we removed our garments, we stood in the great sleeping hall and said with the teachers, We are nothing. Mankind is all. By the grace of our brothers, we are allowed our lives. We exist through, by and for our brothers, who are the state. Amen. We, Equality 72521, were not happy in those years in the home of the students. It was not that the learning was too hard, it was that it was too easy. 
it is not good to be different from our brothers, but it is evil to be superior to them. We looked upon Union 53992, who were a pale boy with only half a brain, and we tried to say and do as they did, that we might be like them, like Union 53992. But somehow the teachers knew that we were not. The teachers were just, for they had been appointed by the councils, and the councils are the voice of all justice, for they are the voice of all men. And if sometimes in the secret darkness of our heart we regret that which befell us on our 15th birthday, we know that it was through our own guilt. We had broken the law, for we had not paid heed to the words of the teachers. The teachers said to us all, Dare not choose in your minds the work you would like to do when you leave the home of the students. You shall do what the Council of Vocations knows in its great wisdom, where you are needed by your brother men better than you can know it in your unworthy little minds. And if you are not needed by your brother men, there is no reason for you to burden the earth with your bodies. We knew this well in the years of our childhood, but our old curse broke our will. We were guilty and confess it here. <laughs>